Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walters World. Today we're on Lake Yasi here in Tanzania. We're going to talk about are some of the things you should know before you come to Tanzania because there's a lot of really great things you want to see and do when you're here, but you probably want to have some of the background before you come so you're better prepared. And a lot of times people come to Africa, they think, oh, is it safe and stuff like that. Actually, Tanzania is one of the safer countries in Africa, so it is really a nice place to go. People are super friendly, there's a lot of really good food to have here, and there's amazing sites like going to the Serengeti National Park or one of the other 16, well there's 16 total national parks and there's conservation areas, there's all kinds of great stuff to see here in Tanzania. So I want to kind of get you started on some of these things. And the thing is when you come here, you might wonder is like, what do they speak in Tanzania? Well, there's a former British colony, right? So English is one of the main languages here that you will hear, especially in tourism industry. That is what the tourism language is. But the thing is, is there's over 120 different tribes here in Tanzania. So there's actually over 120 different languages. Don't worry, you don't have to learn 120 different languages. The other, the other main language you're going to hear here, the, actually, the, the main language that everyone talks amongst themselves is Swahili, okay? And you'll hear a lot of Swahili when you're here. So make sure you know Jumbo, which is hello, and Asante, which is thank you. Poli poli, which is like slowly, slowly, take it easy, take it easy. And then some other words you might have heard from your Disney days, right? Simba, which is lion. So when you're at the parks, you're gonna be like, oh, Simba, lion. That's cool. Hakuna Matata, yes, they actually do say that, that it's like, hey, no worries, relax, it'll be okay. So there was those things there, okay? Now, in terms of money when you come here, they use the Tanzanian shilling. And if you're gonna be staying at hotels and going out to restaurants, the local restaurants and stuff like that, they do prefer the Tanzanian shilling. However, if you're gonna be doing safaris or staying in lodges, and stuff like that. The US dollar is like the go-to currency, so you can always tip with that and pay with that at tourism kind of things like doing safaris or at the parks or anywhere they know a lot of tourists coming, it's US dollars. But make sure you have newer bills. I'm not saying like brand new, I'm just saying within the last 10 years, nice crisp ones, you'll be okay with that, okay? Now in terms of credit cards, some of the lodges do take credit cards, but it's not always the right thing. So make sure you're bringing enough cash when you're here because you're gonna be going into the national parks and stuff like that. They do not have ATMs there, okay? So you're going to have to have cash, so bring plenty of cash when you're here. Now I know that makes you worry, like, oh, should I worry, should I worry? Well, in general, Tanzania is a very safe place, you know, if you're gonna go to Zanzibar, that's a beach place. So think of when you're going to a beach town anywhere around the world, what kind of safety precautions you should do, things like that. When you're going in the parks and stuff like that, it's usually other tourists, so you're usually pretty much okay. But a lot of them will have safes where you can lock some stuff up, always, you know, separate your money like you would anywhere else. Typical kind of safety things, you should be okay. Also, if you're looking to get cash out ATMs, there are some, of course, like in the bigger cities and stuff like that, but if you're going to the parks, there's no ATMs there, so you need to have, make sure you have cash with you. I recommend just bringing it with you when you get here, and you'll be okay. Now, another thing you need to know with money when you are here, if you're gonna be going someplace, is negotiation is kind of a popular thing. Now, if you're at like a, you know, at a normal store, no, you don't negotiate there, but if you're gonna go visit different markets and stuff like that, you will negotiate, okay? So think of this way, what do they start with? Aim for like the middle price, like halfway between the zero and whatever they offer, that's what you're probably targeting, and you should be okay, all right? And don't get upset with the negotiations. The first price is like silly high. That's all part of the game, okay? They like doing it, so don't be upset. Just know that that's what you gotta do when you're here. Now, in terms of the sites you wanna see, yes, Zanzibar is very popular for the beach. That's your, your beach vacation kind of place there, right? What's cool is when you're there, Stone Town, which is the big city on, the, on Zanzibar, it's got a cool old town. There's also some nice stuff you can walk around there and check out the market when you are there, okay? And then you got Dar es Salaam, the capital. It's, it's hot and humid. A lot of people just fly in there and then they go on to Zanzibar, or they come up to the Serengeti and stuff like that. Obviously, the biggest thing to see when you're here is the Serengeti National Park, where you can see the big five, the black rhino, the Cape buffalo, the lion, the leopard, and the elephant. You can see them all there. Now, sometimes it's a little tough to see them all, so you might go to another place, Ngorogoro Crater Conservation Area. That's a place where you're probably gonna have better luck with the rhino. There's Lake Manyara, which is beautiful to see. We had elephants walking by us. You got Lake Yasi here, where you can come and see, and you can actually see some of the people here. And there are some cool tribes you can actually come and visit when you are here. Go to some of their villages, the Masai villages you can go see, where you'll see what they're jumping and stuff like that. They'll show you how they make fire. They'll show you, you know, their homes and stuff like that. You can buy some of their crafts there, meet the kids and stuff like that. It's kind of a nice little experience when you are here. It's a bit touristy sometimes, it feels that way, but it was really a good thing to see because you get to see some of the people and you'll see them going around. The, the Maasai are uh, a nomadic people, so you'll see them going around the country with their cows and their goats and the kids and stuff like that. And they have a very traditional dress, you'll see. So there is that. Actually here at Lake Yasi, right by here, there's actually a group you can actually go out in the morning and go hunting with. Like you don't hunt, they hunt and you go out with them because they're going to hunt for their breakfast and their meals 
for the day, you can actually go out with them and they'll you know teach you how to bow and arrow hunt and stuff like that. It was kind of an interesting you know thing to do. You can do that. Um, also, what you need to know is this is very much a national park going out and visit different places because there's 16 national parks. There's conservation areas as well. The difference is national parks is just for the animals. Conservation areas, there might be people living there as well. So it's a little more like built up, not built up, but you might find more facilities there than the national park. Now, next thing you might want to wonder is, hey, Mark, where are we going to stay when we're here? What's what's the accommodation like in Tanzania? Well, there's a lot of different accommodation. Like if you're in Serengeti or the national parks, you know, a lot of times it's you're camping, you're in tents and stuff like that. And there's different varieties, okay, based on how much you want to spend. You do have the, you know, luxury tent camping experience with indoor showers and toilets in your tent kind of stuff. And then you have the roughing it with a pit toilet outside and things like that. And when you are camping, you are at the national parks, they will tell you do not walk alone by yourself at night because you're not supposed to because it's not safe because there are lions in Cape Buffalo and stuff like that wandering around and you need to be safe with that because I know where we stayed I mean we had buffalo next to our thing they were bumping into our tent we had a hippo outside a cheetah ran in front of our tent on the porch and stuff like that we could hear the lions were in so it's an amazing experience but it can be a bit scary so don't leave your camp you know your tent without like getting one of the people to come and help walk you to the bathroom or walk you to the restaurant stuff like that another place you might stay when you hear are the lodges and the lodges are kind of like compounds there's a restaurant restaurant and then you are out in like a, a cottage or something like that a little bit farther away from the main house it's a really relaxing kind of place back in nature we're at one here and you can see the beautiful lake yasi behind us we got to see the sunset last night here oh it was just gorgeous here and then of course you do have hotels and, and there are some hostels you can stay at depending where you go but i recommend you know you, you have to camp in the national parks especially serengeti because that's the only thing they have you know then you have the lodges for a really nice experience as well and so it is fun if you got kids the lodges are probably the best places a lot of them have pools and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. Now, next thing we're going to talk about is how do you get here? Well, you're probably going to fly in. You might fly, fly into Dar es Salaam, which is the capital. There's also flights that go to Zanzibar, which goes straight to the beach times. Other things, like we came in, we flew into Kilimanjaro, because Kilimanjaro, you know, you have Kilimanjaro Mountain. You know, it's really cool to see the snow on top. We flew into there, and then we started our safari tour. And we went to Lake Manyara, the Ngorogoro Crater. Then we went to Serengeti, and now we're coming back through here at Lake Yasi. And so you have all these things. So there's multiple options for you to get into here. There's flights from you know Europe. There's flights from other places in Africa, from the Middle East, no problem. So you can get here pretty easily. Um, another thing I will say is if you're from the U.S., you, in a lot of other countries, you do have to get a visa. You can get it before you come but they do sell them when you get when you land in the airport you just go to the i need a visa line and you'll be okay for u.s citizens it's a hundred dollars like hundred dollars cash i have a nice hundred dollar bill right there for them you pay that you fill out a form they do the stuff for you it's pretty straightforward um, if you're not from the u.s you need a visa it's less than that so so that's a nice thing there and what's cool is their visas here it has your picture on it so they'll take your picture print it out right there stick it in your passport so make sure you have at least two pages free in your passport because their visa is a whole sticker thing it takes up a whole page okay Okay. Now, next thing you might want to know is, Mark, how do I get around the country? Well, most people, when they come and they do the safari things, they're doing a safari Jeep tour, right? So you're in a big Toyota Land Cruiser driving around for quite some time, and you're seeing all the sights. And when you are on safari, you don't get out of the Jeep, okay? We have all kinds of videos on don'ts and shocks and stuff like that for safari, what to wear, things like that, what not to wear. We'll talk about that in another video, so watch those. The links are down below. But when you're there, you might have the Jeep tour, so you're driving around in a Jeep quite a bit, and they'll talk about the African visage, which is some of the roads can be a little bumpy and it's a lot bumpy so be ready for that um, also if you there's public buses you can take there's also dollar dollars which are mini buses that go around i suggest the main buses not the dollar dollars because they're a little bit less safe a few more accidents that way than the big buses so you do have that but you get around relatively easy when you are here it's not expensive to, to travel around on public transportation but but just know there are some options there for you another thing i would say is you also see a lot of motorcycle and motorcycle taxis to get you around to places so there's a if you're here as a couple you might be taking two separate motorcycle taxis to get someplace. Um, and the motorcycles here are pretty cool, like cleaned up and nice. So that's kind of a cool thing to check out. Now, another thing you might want to talk about is actually tipping here. If you're going out to a restaurant, you might, you know, just round up the bill or maybe five or 10% on top to tip, especially in tourist areas that, that is appreciated. But the tipping you really want to know about is when you have guides and you're staying at lodges and camps, 
If you have a guide, it's five to $10 per day per person and make sure if you have a Jeep, it's at least $20 a day for that driver, okay? So you have that. If you're on a nicer trip, it's gonna be a bit more. If you're on a cheaper excursion, you might be less, but the five to $10 kind of thing is, is kind of the given per person. Uh, if you're gonna be staying at a lodge, think about $10 per day uh, per guest room. And what is nice is if you have a guide, you pay them, at, you tip them at the end of the trip. If you're staying at a lodge, you pay, you, you tip them all at one time. You don't have to tip people individually. There's a tip box at the checkout or reception desk and you just leave the money there you just put it in there and you're good to go again guest rooms about ten dollars a day now another thing I should talk about since we're talking about accommodation and all these things you might want to what plugs they have here they use the UK plug you know the three the three prong plugs they have that here I will tell you accommodation will not have a lot of plugs so make sure you bring an adapter that has multiple USB ports on it so you can have your normal plug and then the USB things to charge your your phones and your batteries for your camera and stuff like that so do do that also make sure you bring your telephoto lens because you can really get up close and personal with the animals with telephoto you get really up close and personal so that's very helpful also bring about uh, a power bank or a battery backup because you will burn through pictures and you'll burn through batteries really quickly especially when you're on safari because there's so much to see and enjoy and, and, and do that it will it will eat up a lot of battery another thing people want to talk about is the cell service and the Wi-Fi look the guys in the Serengeti kind of laughed it's Serengeti Wi-Fi which means it doesn't exist okay um, you might have a little bit of Wi-Fi at some of the nicer camps like or middle camps you might have a little but don't expect to be streaming anything don't expect to watch anything in general when you drive around I've had cell service, like making phone calls and text messages, but I have not had 4G hardly at all. Occasionally it'll pop up so I can do a little bit, but it's very slow. So don't expect a lot of you know blogging and vlogging and, and video watching when you're here. You don't need to because you've got beautiful views like this you can go enjoy, so you don't have much to worry about. And then of course you want to talk about the food when you're here. Big time food here, rice, beef, and chicken. Sometimes mixed together. Pilau, which is a spiced flavored rice you might have with meat or veggies and something like that. It's popped with the holidays, but they sometimes make it for the tourists when they're here, and that's really good. You have ugale, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but ugale, it's this kind of like a stiff porridge kind of stuff, and they might serve that with veggies or meat. That's another popular thing. Bananas, Nindisi, you'll have bananas a lot. They, have, they grow a lot of really good bananas here, and you might actually have cooked bananas with meat, which is nice. There's also makade, which is ma maize and beans mixed together so you do have that the you do want to make sure you though you don't drink the tap water here you drink bottled water uh, when you are here in Tanzania uh, there's multiple beers the beers aren't too bad here we had Serengeti we had uh, Safari we had Kilimanjaro Kilimanjaro is probably my favorite they have a saying like if you're not climbing Kilimanjaro you're drinking Kilimanjaro so, so that's okay you get the normal sodas and stuff like that no big no big problem here at all the last thing I'll talk about is the people the people here in Tanzania have been wonderful from our guides to the staff the, the lodges we've been at the camps we've been at people we met on the street there are a ton of friendly people here. Tanzania is actually renowned for its hospitality and their friendliness and it's really great and people really get along very well here which is really cool. So make sure you wave hi when you see people make sure you say jumbo back which is hello because you'll say jumbo jumbo jumbo. Make sure you do do that and you will have a good time here. If you have any questions ask the staff at all the places you stay because they're very well informed and they want to help you have a better time here in Tanzania. Anyway I hope that helps you know a little bit more about Tanzania before you come because whether you're going to the Serengeti to see the big five or you're going to Zanzibar to hit the beach. This is a fantastic country to visit with so much great wildlife and really nice people. So I wish you all the best and bye from Tanzania.